you know, I'm going to be open and honest about this because there's a reason you're seeing last week a first take uh, video clip, this week a clip from Undisputed. I'm trying to prove a point. And I'm tired of seeing people make the excuse against the Eagles because refs helped the Eagles win, you know? Nobody wanted to hear that when the Eagles lost to the Chiefs, you know? I didn't even use that as an excuse in my video. I just pointed it out, but I said, you know what? It is what it is at the end of the day. Ticky-tacky calls that help determine the outcome of the game literally determine outcomes of games. The Chiefs, they played a sloppy game. The Eagles played a sloppy game. Pretty even split with the penalties, I would think, right? And it was. But, oh, the Eagles were helped out by the refs during that game against the Cowboys, even though the Cowboys thinks the penalties got all the way down to the six and then backed all the way up to, like, the 25, couldn't punch it in. That that was the refs. Oh, yeah, the Eagles were the ones who, or no, the referees were the ones who uh, intercepted Josh Allen or made him throw that interception, right? Or uh, the, the refs helped uh, Jalen Carter block that field goal or have... Uh, the the Bills kicker missed the other field goal, right? Or the refs were the reason why Josh Allen drove all the way down the field and on third down, miscommunication with Gabe Davis, missed a wide open touchdown to end the game. And the Eagles capitalized, drove down the field, no penalties, no issues, no nothing, won the game. Not even to mention uh, Jake Elliott's 56-yard clutch field goal that he made. That was refs, right? If I remember correctly... Very, two plays before that, uh, that third down play, uh, Jason Kelsey got hit with two uh, false starts where he flinched very, very lightly, but it was enough to draw the flag twice. Oh, yeah, but the refs were in the Bills' favor, or the Eagles' favor, right? I'll have you know the Bills were not called on a flag the entirety of the second half or overtime. Not one. Not one. And they were up 10 points at halftime, up 10 points going late into the third quarter. They had the lead going into the final minute and 50 before Jake Elliott's field goal. So where is the help from the refs here? Where is it? Maybe the Bills should be more disciplined. Maybe maybe the Bills should capitalize on the Eagles and their defense for, you know, 500 total yards gained of offense. Couldn't punch in another field goal or another touchdown to win the football game. Outgained us by almost 200 yards. Still lost the football game. Be, won the, the turnover uh, uh, difference, still lost the football game. That's not on the refs. That is on the Eagles, being the clutch team that they are, managing to find ways to win. And that's on the Buffalo Bills for falling short. They weren't able to do what they needed to, and it bit them in the backside. They lost the football game. I'm tired of the excuses. I'm tired of them. I, I'm, I'm so tired of them. It's all because the Eagles keep winning. For once, the Philadelphia Eagles find some regular season success with a competent head coach, great quarterback talent, wide receivers all over the place. They finally built something great. And this is where we're at with people trying to make excuses for why the Eagles are being handed everything by the referees when they're not. People just hate the Philadelphia Eagles. People don't talk like that to the Dallas Cowboys. They mock the Dallas Cowboys for beating up on the better on, on the crappy teams and losing to the good ones, as they should. The Kansas City Chiefs deserve a lot of that talk, but hey, they've been struggling lately. They're still 8-3. No one wants to talk about that, though. It's it's a lot. It's just stupid. It's just very stupid. And I'll continue to further this point by letting everybody in the media who knows what they're talking about, who aren't people who sit behind the television on their phones, tweet out this because they're Eagles haters. You know, I saw so many 49ers uh, fans in the uh, Eagles Bleacher Report community laughing, talking about how they're going to uh, destroy us next week when we were down 17-7. to Didn't see a single one after we managed to win that game yesterday. Not one. Oh, but on Twitter, on the other hand, that's where they're all at. That's where everyone's at. I saw another tweet saying that um, comparing Jalen Hurts' stats to Jordan Love's um, and wondering why is Jalen Hurts a starting um, a, a, an MVP when Jordan Love and him have almost similar, almost the exact same um, a passing uh, uh, stats as a passer. And I read that and laughed because he left out the 10-1 record, 
the rushing touchdowns, and overall what Jalen Hurts brings to this team that Jordan Love doesn't do for the Packers. It's fucking stupid. I love it. Keep hating on us. We'll keep proving you wrong.